All right, good morning. Working on a hillside today. Um, this property has got serious access issues. Not exactly sure how I'm going to get in yet. I think I might have come in from the wrong direction though. Um, might be able to back up. It's going to be challenging. I have to drive up. Your destination is on the right. Uh, oh, here it is, I think. Um, yeah, right. Am I going to get up there? I'll have to come in from the other direction. All right. Here it is. I don't know I'm going to get out of here yet. This will be a low range job. People live in places like this. All right, made it. So I'm working an upway today on the hillside on the south end of the Daniel Ranges. Uh, I'm working with Glenn and his magnificent hydraulic teaspoon. Second smallest excavator I've ever worked with. The smallest was last week. And we're going to make a retaining wall. And we've got this bit of Rio Dosite in the way. There, for the footing for the retaining wall. And a bit more there. So we're just going to give this a tickle with some uh, explosives. And that should allow the machine to yank it out. Stay tuned. Do not adjust your set. ready to go We've got 11 holes here with a tiny little charge in each one and a dog bone delay halfway to help manage the vibration and Glenn's going to cover it for us this could take a while This is an 11 hole shot for a retaining wall footing. We've got a little 
little bit of rock that's uh, loose and moving, which is good. As you can see, there wasn't much cover on it. That's why I had those additional bits of wood. I find that short reach pretty frustrating. Fairly quickly, I think. Happy face, you can see broken rock. I say you got a happy face, you can see broken rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. I see lots of broken rock. That's good. and grab your other bucket. The one hand ripper. Oh no, you're gonna grab the tooth bucket. First shot was good. Uh, this is the next bit here. Just going to use compressed air to clean the mud and slop off so I can find some good spots to drill. It's the most important part, finding the best spot to drill. So you're not drilling on a, a seam or something stupid like that. It never goes well.
All right, that gives us a bit of a better view. See what we're looking at. See what we've got to break. Oh. Terrible faulty rock, isn't it? It's faulted in two directions. Oh well. Just got to give it a bit of a jolt and it'll all come out. That's all it needs. Cheers. Next shot, eight holes. All connected together with lovely, nice, tieable cord instead of that rubbish stuff I used to buy. Um, and that uh, will hopefully fix it up. We'll just cover that now and make a bang. So we'll put the nice soil on first to protect the cord and uh, then all the other rubbish can go on. Got no choice. The nice soil will protect the cord just fine. That's loosened it up quite a bit. Not good weather for doing this, but such is life. self-conscious about taking my digger to do a job because it's too small being a three and a half ton machine. I guess I probably shouldn't. And we're done and the rock is gone. And the most difficult part is now getting out of here. I'm gonna try and get out forwards. But uh, We'll see how we go.